Hi, in this video we're going to deal with blank values. So you don't want blank values in a spreadsheet because you can't analyze what's not there. So um, if people have left things blank on the, on the uh, questionnaires when they fill them in, um, then we need a way of removing those blank values or at least substituting those blank values with um, a value. So if you look at column F where we've got uh, do you have at least two days without gaming per week? this column you can see that generally it's been well answered but there are sections here whereby values have been left blank we can't have that so we need to put something in there in order to uh, to analyze the results so even if it's something like not answered or no answer given uh, but something needs to go in there so yes we could copy and paste values down but that's not really what we want to do again we're going to use the, the tools of the spreadsheet to enable us to uh, replace those blank cells and we do it like this. So I'm going to highlight my range where I want to check for blank values. So I've highlighted it down there. Okay. And then what we're going to do over on the Home tab, so I'm starting on the Home tab, all the way across to Find and Select. If I drop the little arrow down there, it allows me to select um, some special uh, menu options. So what we want to use is the go to special option. So I'm going to click the go to special and this opens me up a dialog box that allows me to search for certain things. And this time I want to search for blanks. And what it will do when I click the blanks but the, the blanks button there and click OK, it will highlight for me all of the blank values in that range that I've highlighted. So I'm going to click OK. So even though that one's not lit okay, or, or highlighted, it is still selected. And the important thing is here not to select anything in the cells. I can use the scroll bar just to show you that all of those um, blank values have been highlighted. Now what I'm going to do, without clicking anywhere, I'm just going to type in what I would like to be, um, to, what I'd like to replace those blank values with. So I'm going to just type in not answered. Okay. And now there's a special technique now where I can copy that down into all the other blank values. On the keyboard, I'm going to press the Control key, which is the CTRL key, and the Enter key. So Control and Enter, and it auto fills the, that uh, value into all of the blank cells in that range. And that's how you remove blank values in a range of cells.